Yeah, it's fun. Kelsey's obviously, she makes my life easier out there. And it's, you know, it's hard to pick and choose when, you know, both of us are on, like, at the one and two position that just, like, puts the defense in a really tough spot. And I thought that three she made there in the fourth quarter was huge for us. And we could have executed a little bit better down the stretch. But um, I think we just really, really read and understand each other a lot better from where we were at the beginning of the season. Like, the amount of backdoor cuts that girl has got just because we make eye contact and she knows to go back door is it's incredible like that play we ran to start the the third quarter like I wasn't involved in it I was at the beginning but like we ran that play a million times and it just made me laugh because like she's so fast that she gets open every single time so um I'm really happy for her and, and proud of her she definitely deserves this moment you know Christine and Scott congratulations uh, 35 points and the record another record the um it seemed like that there was a lot of back and forth. You guys, like Sheldon, you guys go, you guys go way back, right? So mm -hmm. there seemed to be some chatter back and forth. Mm -hmm. Is this the kind of game you enjoy playing, even though it's you know right to the end and you want to put them away? But it seemed like you were really kind of you know mostly like loving the fight mm -hmm. as well as loving obviously the scoring. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was definitely fun. Obviously, I've gone against JC for quite a while now. My career, every year I was at Iowa, she. She was really good at Ohio State, so I'm um, pretty familiar with her game and, and what she's about. And I think she's had a really good year um, for the Wings. And, you know, she just, like, kind of takes what they give you. She's always consistent. She's always going to step up to the plate and guard whoever she needs to guard. And, um, you know, happy for her. But, um, yeah, I thought the game was really fun. Obviously, once we got it to eight, I wish we could have kept, kept that a little bit better. Um, we didn't execute really in the half court as well. And when they started throwing some traps at us, we didn't respond to it great. So, um, I think just executing that last minute and a half a little bit better where we don't have to like just go to the free throw line and make a bunch of free throws. I thought we were great at that. Um, but you want to get to the point where you don't have to rely on that too. So um, I definitely love this type of game. Very high scoring, but our defense can be a lot better too. You know, Scott and Matt, is there a specific reason maybe you came into this game a little bit more loose, a little bit more free, and then I think we saw that then on the court? Um, I mean... I think I was just excited to play anytime you get the, the opportunity to get out there and, and go play knowing this, you know, this was our last regular season one at home, you know, it's fun, it's on the weekend, it's an afternoon game, like those are just better. Um, so I don't know, I mean, once I had that first three go in and I made it a couple after that, um, my shot felt pretty good and honestly, like, I felt like I should have made eight tonight. I got some, I got a couple tough rolls, like, I just seemed to not be able to get over the hump of like really getting hot. Like I know I was six for 14 and that's pretty good, but like I still feel like there was a couple there that was just like, oh, how's that not going? So, um, but yeah, I think just playing loose and also knowing that you've had success prior to, you know, against this team um, in, in our first two matchups with them, I think that just brings you confidence as a player. And I thought we were really good last time we played in Dallas. Um, but we've, we've honestly struggled to guard this team. And I think it just speaks to their offensive firepower that they had like Arike and, and, and Sabali's really good. And then we obviously struggled to guard their post players for um, at least three quarters. So I um, thought we, we could improve in that area. You know, Matt and Sabrina in the third row. Yeah, Kaylin, um, you get the rookie record and you get a career high. It's a mm -hmm. tense game uh, from start to finish. Friday, you acknowledged uh, keeping your emotions in check. So I guess in a tense game like this, uh, tense environment, I guess, where does your mind, your competitiveness go mm -hmm. when, you know, occasionally teammates, you know, have, kind of have to come in and, and redirect you away from the rats. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't think they were going to give me a technical at any point tonight. Um, I would have been really sad for people in Washington, D.C. I didn't want to do that. I, would, I tried my best. Um, um, but my teammates do a really good job of that. They think I'm funny. They think it's funny. So. And then Aaliyah is the one that ends up with a technical. That's the best part about it all. Like, she's the one babysitting me, and then somehow she ends up with a technical. And she didn't really do anything. She was just standing there. So that's what was funny to me. Um, but uh, I think I think I did a better job. I still thought there was, like, a couple moments there where I could have been a little bit better. Um, but now it's, it's basically over. I don't have to worry about that anymore, but I don't want to be getting technicals at all. So, <laughs> and my mom doesn't want that for me either. And I, won't, I don't want to pay any more fines. So <laughs> I'm done with that. You're the last one in the room, Sabrina, we got two on Zoom. Yeah, Caitlin, you know, it, this is a team that's been night and day <clears throat> since the Olympic break. You know, has it sunk in yet that you're a rookie now going to the playoffs with the franchise that hasn't gone since 2016? Uh, not really. I think. I think like once we get there, uh, it'll feel a little more real. Um, and obviously, like we're not just happy to be there. Like we really feel like we can believe and we can 
we can compete um, with every single team that's going to be in the playoffs. Um, obviously, the only team we didn't beat this year were the Aces, and I think the way it's going to work out, the only way we would see them would be in the finals. Um, and that would have been another huge accomplishment for our group if we were able to beat them once. I think it has been since 2010 since we beat every single team in our league. So it's just another thing to work for for next year. But um, I think we have confidence in the fact that, you know, whoever our first round matchup is, we have beat that team before. That doesn't mean they're they're not really, really talented and really, really skilled, but that does give you a little bit, a little bit of confidence going into those games. So, um, but I think, you know, you go into the Washington game, we still expect to win that too. And we know that Washington's gonna be fighting for a play, that last playoff spot too. So, um, you know, our, our goal has been one at a time. I thought we've done a really good job of that, but at the same time, everybody definitely is excited for the playoffs. We haven't been there since 2016. So we're going to do everything we can to try to get it back here. So our, our fans can, you know, cheer us on and, and have a little taste of playoff basketball as well. Last two on zoom, uh, DJ and Mike, DJ, go ahead. All right. Uh, Kaylin, great game. Uh, two questions. You had a behind the back uh, dribble leading with a pass to Lexi and a hockey assist to Dantas. And you also had an assist to Kelsey late and Dantas. Can you speak to what it means to trust your teammates in these high pressure moments? And how did you develop your court vision? Oh, um, <laughs> I don't know. I think it just comes with playing basketball for a really long time. And I've always played the point guard spot. And like I said, I think last time we, we played, like, I've always been a huge fan of basketball. I've always watched it. I've always, you know, loved playing it. I think that's the best way to learn is to practice, to watch it, to just be around it all the time. I think that's where the my IQ of the game comes from. Um, but at the same time, like I said, I feel like our team has built, built great chemistry of understanding where each other's going to be. Um, and then also, like, I shoot extra with Dantas after every shoot around. And Dee Dee, like, she doesn't miss. Like, I feel so confident every single time she shoots a shot that it's going in. And that one she made in the corner and then the one on top uh, where Lexi made the, the one more pass and went good to great for Dee Dee to get a wide open three. Like, those were two huge shots for us. So um, I'm, I'm proud of her. I'm happy for her. Like, that's a tough position to be in, to come off the bench and play 12 minutes and to be that ready to knock down some huge shots and big moments where – your team really needs it. Um, it adds a whole different dynamic and something that you have to guard, um, especially when we're in pick and roll action together too. Um, it, it makes it tough knowing she's going to pop and you have to either take one of us away or try to take both of us away. It, it puts the other team in, in a tough position. Last one, Mike Vogel. Yeah, thank you. Caitlin, you know, you've talked a lot about uh, watching the Lynx as a kid and, and Maya being a hero of yours. You've uh, passed Simone uh, today in terms of rookie points. And I just wondered maybe some of your thoughts on watching on watching Simone and obviously what a great scorer she was and maybe maybe your thoughts of watching her as a kid as well. Yeah, I mean, I obviously love that team with, you know, Brunson, Simone, Maya. Lindsay Whalen, uh, Sylvia Fowles, like all of them, I was huge fans of. Um, and I remember when I was when I went to the to the my first WNBA game, Simone was probably I think she was the first player that I ever met when I was courtside, watching them warm up before the game. It was her and Lindsay Whalen. So um, it comes it comes full circle for sure. Uh, I remember I got my picture with her um, on my dad's little phone. It was like maybe like a BlackBerry back in the day or something like that. I don't even know. It, it hardly worked. <laughs> um, but I, I vividly remember it. That was like the first WNBA player I ever met. So, um, I was a, always a fan of her game and the way she could shoot the ball and score the ball. So, uh, like I said, definitely full circle. All right. Thank you, everybody. Well